Hello YouTube, Gbo Unit here, and uh, I'm going to do another video on the iPhone. Now the previous video was really goofy and stupid, and um, you know I had a lot of fun doing it. And actually, that one minute and 19 second video was made off the cuff. I mean, me and my coworker Jerry, her name is also Jerry, um, we both just did it as a as a whim. And so I was using my old um, using my old Motorola Karma and a paper cover. See, here's my old Motorola Karma with the little keyboard, okay? So I was just, you know, having a goof, just making fun. And partially because I hadn't put up a, a firearms video in a while. I plan to do that, so bear with me. But I did want to do a legitimate video on the iPhone. I did purchase an iPhone 4S. Here's the box for it. Okay, so this is proof that I actually did get one. Okay, uh, I was sold on this phone. I have a few friends who have the iPhone. Um, I had that, that Motorola Karma, and prior to that, I had a BlackBerry. Um, I didn't utilize data that much. I wasn't really into that. I just wanted to make calls and to text. But I'm telling you, the iPhone is such a great thing. Um, here's the iPhone that I do have, okay? This is encased in an OtterBox Defender Series case. It comes with this rubberized neoprene outer covering, and underneath it is a hard plastic shell. Uh, and it also comes with this carrying case right here. So it just snaps in like so. Just like that. Okay, so it's freaking huge. Okay. All right. It's huge, but you know, it it's pretty useful. You know, I've I've got a gut and everything. And uh this really doesn't interfere with, you know, it doesn't pinch my fat or anything like that uh when I sit down. It's actually quite comfortable. It's not too bad. And it saves me from having to shove this thing in my pocket. It's big. I mean, it needs to be big to utilize the touch screen and everything. And, and uh, you know, I, I don't mind that. As, as long as you don't mind the size of this thing, I highly recommend this, the carrying case. Um, here's the box, okay? This is a an OtterBox Defender Series. Okay, Defender Series is the highest protection, you know, carrying case. Uh, I know a lot of people balk at this because it's not slim, because a lot of the cases are pretty much shells on here, and they're really slim, and um, it only covers the sides and the back, okay? This covers it 360. It's covered all the way around. It's not airtight, okay? Um, it does have, you know, it's an opening here for the... Um, the, what do you call that, the, the earpiece and the camera. Um, it's open down here for the speakers, okay? And, um, you know, it's open back here for the camera and light. And I believe this is open just to show the Apple logo, okay? Um, and also it's open at the top. Now, um, one thing about this Defender series, okay? Just want to make sure I let let you know exactly what kind of case I've got. And if you're if you have an iPhone 4s or any um, uh, cell phone, if you can find one with with that's that's an Otter Defender in your brand, I highly recommend it. It's it's I've heard nothing but good about this. Now keep in mind it's not airtight, it's not waterproof, dustproof, snowproof. There is a case like that. I forgot the name of it, but it's at Best Buy. The only problem is that one is 80 bucks. Now, if you're in construction or at a job site that has a bunch of junk like that, water, dust, you know, like if you're in construction or something, yeah, it's probably 80 bucks is probably worth protecting a $700 unit, okay? This was 50. I was already having an aneurysm spending $50 on this case, but you know what? It you know, it's worth it to I've already dropped this phone okay and it still works fine um, no I didn't drop it on purpose but uh, for those of you who do have a Defender series I did run across something that I thought was really strange and it was clarified to me 
um, at Best Buy. Now, all the buttons work really well. The volume buttons, okay? This cover right here is for the switch to go from vibrate to noise, okay? And it's completely covered. It's solid, meaning it's solid, so it is dust proof, you know, so if you want to call it that. Um, these things here, I was trying to figure out exactly what these things here were for. Well, it's to help clip into the holder. That's all, that's all it is, nothing special. And then down here, you just flip this open. This is for your car charger or your wall charger, okay? And, uh, you know, just kind of press it in like so, and it, it's, it's real nice. Now, this up here, I thought there was a problem. I was already, you know, talking about going to OtterBox and getting a refund and getting this done right. I thought that this served a purpose. This hole right here, when you open it up, there's your jack for your earpiece. Your earpiece. Okay? That's for your earpiece. Now, initially, I thought they molded this wrong. Because see that hole there? Now look at where the hole for the earpiece is. Okay? And here I was thinking I put this thing on backwards or inside out. And it's not. It's, you know, and then I thought, well, shoot, the company molded this wrong. And, you know, as you can see, there's no hole there. I can't stick that in there. I have to actually flip this thing open. So I thought I had a defective piece. Well, ends up that it's not defective. Um, if you look real careful in here, you'll see a very tiny dot, okay? If you have an iPhone 4, take a look at the top of your, um, your phone. You'll see a little dot there. This is open so that it can detect noise. Evidently, this is some kind of mic. It's either a mic or I, I think it's a microphone of some sort. When you do FaceTime, when you're talking like this, you know, the microphone's right here, okay? So... Correct me if I'm wrong, but that little dot up there is some kind of mic. So that's why this has a hole in it. That's w the hole is for that mic in there, not for the phone jack, okay? So that's basically what it is. Um, I mean, I, lo I love this phone. Okay, see, here it is. It's not wonderful and I'm playing around with all my apps and everything still have to get you know through a bunch of apps um, I just wanted to talk about how I'm a big Blackberry person I like to feel keyboards I was real hesitant about the touch screen now amazingly enough this thing is not too bad as far as um, you know uh, the, the, the keyboard is not that bad. Look how narrow it is, okay? And I've got, I'm not a big person, but, you know, I don't have, you know, dainty fingers or anything like that. I thought that this would be, you know, a real pain to manipulate with my thumbs. But it's not, okay? And if you are a bigger person, okay, you can go like so, and it should, twi you know, it twists over so it's a wider keyboard. So you'd be able to utilize it like this or like that, okay? That's really cool, you know, you have that option. And uh, I, I like using both, both uh, parts of the keyboard, the wide version and the narrow version. Now, the 4S, uh, I'm not a, an iPhone expert, this is my first one. The difference between the 4 and the 4S, basically, in a nutshell, is this thing called Siri, okay? Um, Siri is something that you, you talk into the phone, ask it some kind of question, or give it a command, and it'll do it. So, um, for instance, it'll, it'll um, I can say something like, um, you know, I, I can ask it to um, wake me up at a certain time. I could ask it to schedule something on the calendar, an appointment. Uh, I've barely scratched the surface of it. I don't know what else it can do, but I'm going to look into it. Uh, another cool thing about this is that I'm not sure it has it on the 4S, I mean on the 4, but if you look down here at the bottom, there's a little microphone right there at the bottom. I can actually recite my text and it'll print out and then I can send it. It's a lot faster than having to type away with your thumbs. Um, 
Of course, typing is a lot better if you don't want anybody to hear what you're texting. But if you're on the run, you're, you're in your car or something, you know, something, you know, I don't condone texting while you're driving. But um, you know what I mean? Like if you're somewhere where uh, it's semi-private or private, you can start texting just like this without having to do anything except hit the send key. So I'll just, um, this, is, this is my son. I'll just go ahead and text uh, a message to him. Um, Okay, hold on. Let me try it. Hi, son. I love you. See? And it'll, t it'll type it right up, and all I have to do is hit send, and there it goes. Okay? It's gone. So, it's real easy to do stuff like that. Okay, let me demonstrate Siri. Um, those of you who are 4S experts, this is a really mundane video for you because you probably can do a thousand more things than I can on this. Uh, but let me let me do Siri. I just press this button. Oh, I have to press and hold. Sorry. See? And it's asking, what can I help you with? Wake me up at 6 a.m. tomorrow. I don't know what you mean by investing. What can I help you with? Okay, hold on, let me do it again. Wake me up at 6 a.m. tomorrow. Your alarm's set for 6 a.m. Now, is that slick or what? Okay, let me do something else. Um, my birthday. Um, um, schedule my birthday on July 30th. Time is the meeting? All day. Okay, here's your meeting. Note that you already have an all day meeting about birthday for July 30th, 2012. Oh, I already July scheduled my birthday. Anyway? No. To continue, you can confirm, cancel, change time to, or change title. Uh, I'll cancel. Okay, then. I will create the meeting. Okay, so that's just, uh, you know, just a brief overview of, um, oh, got a text response from my son. Hi, Dad. I love you, too. Isn't that great? <laughs> also, between the 4 and the 4S, you can do what's called FaceTime. That means you can video chat. Now, it, it's only compatible between iPhone 4s and 4Ss, probably through iPad and iTouch. I, I don't know. I don't know those other two Apple products, but those of you techies probably know that. But I do know that I've already FaceTimed with a couple people who have iPhone 4s, okay? Not necessarily the 4Ss, but you can FaceTime and actually talk like this. And a cool thing about this is that while you're talking, there is a button on the screen when it does appear that you can press to reverse the camera, meaning when you're talking, it's taking a picture of me, of my face, talking to them. Now, if I, if I said, oh, yeah, I'm over, I'm over here, this is the street I'm at, instead of turning the camera around and, and f trying to see if you're actually videotaping it well, you can hit this button, and the camera will switch from here to there, and I will be able to see what the heck I'm shooting. So then I would see what I'm, what I'm showing the other person, and I can go around and say, yeah, this is where I'm at, you know, something like that. But it's really cool. Um, you know, there's probably a hundred other videos that have a better review of the iPhone 4. But to my subscribers, I just wanted to do a real simple video of, of the 4S and, uh, you know, kind of, I don't know, um, take the place of that stupid, goofy video that I did on the pretend 4S that I, or the 5 the iPhone 5 that I made. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I will get firearms videos up. Um, you know, it's 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 been a while, but uh, you know, I'll I'll do that and and uh, you know, make my channel a little bit more legit. So, because it is about firearms, but iPhone 4s, I love it. I highly recommend it. So, or if you can hold out, you know, I guess wait wait for the five. So, anyway, that should be it. 
Hope that you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next video. Bye.